Hey guys, Vaping Dick here. If you want to do your bit for vaping, do your advocacy and help save vaping, then please do one of the two things. If you're in America, please go to kasar.org. On their homepage, they have five things you can do to save vaping. Um, you can email to support. Is a one-click link to email off support for HR 2058. You can email uh, your attorney general to say you support Tom Miller. Uh, you can join Kassar and you can uh, write a testimonial explaining how vaping saved your life. Um, so go to Kassar.org if you're in America. If you're in the UK, uh, the best thing to do right now is contact a lord or contact your MP and explain how you feel about the TPD. You can do this by going to write to vape co.uk um, very very easy you tell you where you live you put in your postcode tells you who your MP is and you contact them about your concerns regarding the TPD um, do your bit before it's too late and in five years time when we're all reminiscing about saving vaping don't be the guy that secretly in your head is thinking I didn't do anything be the guy that did something go and do it Hey guys, Vaping Pick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, this, the Raphael X from UL. What is it? It is an RDA with a very unique feature. It features two neutral posts. Um, I will try my best to display. Uh, describe and explain neutral posts when we go down low but in a nutshell it's two posts that don't um, affect <clears throat> they don't lock in so you've got your positive and negative on the outside um, and then inside you've got two neutral posts allowing you to build quad coils uh, with the same resistance as what dual coils have they allow you to do it allows you to do crazy builds without going super low resistance. Um, so we'll talk about that down low. Um, it's a very unique piece, it vapes like this. So we'll go down low. I'll tell you all about it. And then we'll come up top for the pros and cons of this actual RDA. See you in a second. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Rafael X RDA. This is the packaging. This tube, tube thing that they do now. Very cool, in my opinion. I like the packaging. Uh, pop this off, and you'll see it has this big protective thing inside. So it's never going to come broken from uh, UL, which is good. Um, let's try and get this manual out. Manual here. This might uh, attempt to explain the situation here look so those it's giving you various build options here I would say that this one in my opinion wouldn't be very good simply because you, that would be the world's biggest single coil <laughs> um, this is the one that I recommend and I'll show you mine up close um, but again it does it does explain it quite well there feel free to have a pause there and a, a propaganda at that um, but yeah, that's the manual, and it's actually quite uh, explanatory. Uh, we've also got our spares baggie in here, uh, screwdriver, O-rings, and screws and such. Uh, so, there we go. We'll put that over there. Here is the RDA. So, taking the top off. We'll screw this off here, too. Okay. So, put that to the. Okay, so this is your RDA top section. Uh, you can see it's got this spiraling bar of juicer anti spit back protection. If we take that off, you just left by you just left with a big gaping hole, and I don't fit anything else will fit in there. So, I'm not sure exactly what the situation is there. Uh, but you can just stick that back in. If you know of anything else that fits in, let me know. But I genuinely think it's uh, it's just for this, really. It'd be good if they came with two of these. One with the protection, one with the spit back protection, one without the spit back protection. Then there'd be a good reason to swap them. Um, so that would be interesting. 
So on the side here, it's all one solid piece, this. Um, stainless steel painted black, I would assume. Um, on this side, you've got one coil, three coil, one, what, sorry, one hole, three hole, one hole, three hole. So that's your choice. You can either have it with a hole on each side or with three holes on each side. Those are your only options, really. Um, so crazy slats there. Um, there's your chamber. It doesn't really reduce inside anything like that. It just is what it is. Looking up here, we have the actual deck. Underneath, uh, gold plate of brass, positive pin, uh, UL written on the side there. Let's get rid of these crazy wicks. Okay, so these are the uh, these are the coils that I have in here. 22 gauge stainless steel quad coil. Um, it's got six wraps on each coil, or around a three mil um, winding tool. I recommend this build. I genuinely recommend this build. There's a little a bit of a ramp up to it, uh, but at 90 watts, this is a very tasty, cloudy build. Um, it comes out at 0.3, and that's because of the neutral posts, and we'll explain that in a second. So what you've got in this deck is a nice deep juice well. You've then got this center deck uh, piece which is your neutral posts you've then got your um, positive and negative post and that is what we've got I'll give you a look in there if you don't want to use this neutral post thing you want to have a two post setup you can what you do is you unscrew this screw here inside the inside you'll see another screw you unscrew that and uh, this deck just pops right out and uh, you just put it back together without it in and you can use it as a huge two poster um, with the neutral post. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, effectively, visually in your brain, what you need to uh, see is this. You see that this is a quad coil, but what you want to see actually the way this is performing is a dual coil. So think of it as going from positive, passing through there, passing through there, which makes these, think of these as one coil going through to that negative. So it's going from positive, it's retaining its positive, and then it's going through to negative. If you just did that as a build, it wouldn't work, because it's not going to any negative. Um, if you did that as a build, that would work. That would work fine, but it would behave as a single coil. It would have the resistance of a single coil. Um, that would work, but it would be janky because of your airflow setup. But uh, that would work because you are going from positive through neutral to negative. Um, so what it allows you to do is a, an incredibly, what would normally be an incredibly low build, but keeping a sort of sensible resistance. So this is a 22 gauge quad coil stainless steel build. This would come out at about 0.14, 0.15, something like that. And it's coming out at 0.3 because of the neutral posts. Um, so it's just it allows you to do these builds these interesting different builds um so another way you could do it if you like is you could go from positive to that neutral post and have a wide coil here and then again from that neutral post uh to the negative there and it would pass it all as one and that would act like a single coil so i know it's i know it's a bit of a mind uh, a mind fuck um, have a little think about that. Um, I don't know how best else to describe it, but basically it allows you to double up that resistance and keep a sort of sensible build uh, a resistance without, you know, while still having crazy amounts of coil and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, it doesn't lend itself well to single coil. I think that's why they haven't allowed the um, resistance. Uh, that's why they haven't done airflow for a single coil because it's just not going to perform well at all. Uh, but there you go. So that's what's going on in there. Crazy quads. Um, putting the airflow back on like this. And there you go. There is your RDA, your Rafael X. We'll go back up top. We'll talk about it some more. Okay, guys, that was the Rafael X from you. Well, up close and personal. Um, let's just get down to it. I've tried my best to explain those uh, neutral posts down low. Um, basically, you know, it just allows you to double up the resistance. So a quad has the resistance of a dual, 
Um, a duel has resistance of a single, and you can do all manner of crazy builds. If you go away and search Google Image Search or Forum Search, people are doing insane builds with this. On my Instagram, which is at VapingVic, uh, you, you can see a, a ridiculous build that I did when I was messing about as in a strange place, and I did a very strange uh quad coil but two were vertical and two were horizontal it looked ridiculous and it didn't vape very well but um, you can do crazy things with this um, and that's what the neutral posts uh, allow you to do um, mess around with crazy crazy stuff um, that being said it is quite complicated um, figuring it all out and figuring out what your build is going to be like it's also very fiddly you know there's no doubt that quad coils are more fiddly than dual coils so I would say anyone who's fairly new to building this is maybe one to swerve because it might be too much of a headache for you to use um, it's very you know it can get very fiddly it can get very faffy and a bit of a head scratcher um, also on the flip side of that if you're a builder an advanced builder or just someone that just loves building all manner of different coils you love photographing your coils sticking them up on things you just love the crazy enjoyment of fiddling and building uh, RDAs then this is definitely one to look at because <laughs> because you know the the possibility it just changes the whole spectrum of possibility of what you can do in here and um, don't forget as well you can just remove those um, negative posts the neutral posts and um, have just a, a two post setup positive to negative side to side so you can do that as well so it's not like it's a complete deal breaker but I do think uh, if you're not someone that's super into the faff and the fiddle of rebuilding it might be one to swerve um, so there is that so there's that feature and I would say as well credit to UL for innovating I've never seen this before um, and I, I never slag off anyone too heavily who's gone for the old innovation thing um, so there's that so there is that um, negatives true genuine negatives uh, I don't think it's very good looking I don't know how everyone else feels I think it's a bit weird looking really weird looking actually um, it's got this ridiculous top thing. Uh, I know you can you can hit this out if you like. You can get rid of it uh, manually using like a hammer and a chisel or something. Uh, you can bash it out if you want. But I th I just think it um, I just think it spoils the vape a little bit. It's uh, the, yeah, it's just a bit crazy in there. Uh, so I'd have to give that as a negative. In terms of airflow control, you've only got you've got the option of using the one little hole there that's covered up or the three on each side so you can use one on each side or three on each side there's no way of doing like two holes or adjusting within that it just seems like you've just got two airflow options which is uh, potentially a negative um, I would say as well while we're doing the negatives the screws th these screws don't seem quite uh, beefy enough for the job you know like I've got a 22 gauge stainless steel quad coil in here and that's some chunky wire going in these posts and it just felt like the screws weren't as wide a gauge as the wire you know like I just the, the screws just felt a little bit weak a little bit fiddly um, I felt like it could have had beefier screws in there if I'm being honest um, positives the positive for me is the fun factor uh, if you really into building you really enjoy building um, it's a good it's a good bit of fun it vapes like this And that's with those stainless steel quads, you know, and, you know, you can do all manner of crazy builds. You can even, because of the neutral post, you can even do three coils, two on one side, one on the other. Like, you'd never be able to do that on another RDA, because it would just come out all weird. It would ramp up weird. Um, but this it continues that current across all three, so it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, but it's fun, you know. I can't uh, knock it for not being fun. It's also got very good juice wells. Um... It's a nice wide deck, fairly easy to use, um, feels sturdy. It's a positive for me that you can remove those neutral posts as well. And the price as well, it's about $25, dollars ish um, So it's on the budget end of Authentic. Um, 
So yeah, so those are the positives as well. I think the flavour, if you get the right build, can be very good, uh, but you are stuck with this three on each side air hole situation. In, in a perfect world, because you're doing such wide spanning coils, like a quad is a long bit of thing, really this should be a long slat of airflow, not three holes on top of each other. Um, in my opinion, that's that should be like a, a cyclops, a cyclops airflow, not those three holes. That's just me, probably just me, but that makes sense to me. Um, so, really good fun. Want to dodge if you don't like the faff, um, but really good fun, and it's, it's a builder's dream. It really is a builder's dream, and if you get it all going right, it's quite a tasty vape. I've been Vemfic, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.